Have you been wondering how much money you can make from renting out your cars on Hire Car? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over exactly how much I made in the month of February of 2020, just to show you how much you can make. So let's get right into the video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Justin. I make videos about my own personal businesses, side hustles, and hire car. So if you like this type of content and you're not subscribed, go ahead and press that subscribe button below. All right, so hire car gives us this handy dandy spreadsheet breakdown of all my vehicles, the gross rental profit, the net rental profit, exactly how much I got paid out. So I'm gonna break down these expenses. And if you guys don't know, I rent out three cars that I have on hire car. I have a 2009 Honda Civic. I have a 2009 Chevy HHR and I have a 2014 Volkswagen Jetta and they all rent out between 32 to $39 a day. I like to stay up in that upper 30s. Sometimes I lower the price for renters that have been renting for a long time. Okay, so I wanna give you a breakdown on um, exactly how much I made gross, how much I made net after hire car takes their fees, and then after all my expenses like insurance, gas, uh, maintenance, and stuff like that, let you know exactly how much money I made in my pocket uh, for the month of February so you could see if something like this is for you. All right. So this month, at the beginning of February, I actually purchased my third vehicle. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll leave the link right up here so you guys can go check that out. I bought my Chevy HHR uh, right at the end of January, um, up into February 2nd, I think was the first day I rented it out in February. So let's just get right into numbers because that's why you're here. I have three vehicles that I rented out for all of the month, except for one day where I didn't have the HHR. So I rented out the Honda Civic, for a total of 29 days out of 29 days in February. So it was rented out 100%. My Volkswagen Jetta, I had rented out for 29 days out of 29 days. And for my HHR, I had it rented out for 28 days out of 29 days. I'm telling you people in my area, I get the car back and it's like rented out the next day. Like it, cars are going like hotcakes. So I literally cannot keep my cars at my place. Like I have to snooze my listings so that I can get work done that I need it work done on. Uh, or it'll just instantly get rented back out. So for all of my rentals, uh, the average price here was 39, 34, 36. I'm looking at my spreadsheet, 39, 39. So right in there, my lowest price was 34, and my highest price was 39. So my average was like 37, $36 per day. So before fees, before hire car takes their cut, total what the gross profit, gross rental income, 2000, $947.97. If you guys wonder why I keep looking down, I'm looking at my laptop right here. So I'm just kind of like looking at my numbers. So sorry if I keep on looking down. All right, so I made two, almost 3,000. I was $50 shy, $3,000. I cannot wait to break that $3,000 mark. But that's super exciting. I had three cars and I grossed $3,000, that's not bad. That's like a perfect month, almost shy of one day. So hire a car, you have a protection plan. If you guys haven't seen my video on what protection plan to go watch, I'll leave a link up right there or I'll leave a link in the description as well. Go watch that video if you guys wanna know what protection plan is right for you. But after my protection plan and everything like that, I have a total of $2,000. $277.08. That is not bad. So uh, there was a little hiccup and problem. This doesn't include 10 days. So my net rental profit after hire cars fees is $2,277.08, but what I actually got paid out, actually the money that landed in my bank account because of that late, late rental, I got $2,087.28. So I will get that money when he pays and catches up, but in that month, I can't count that as income because I actually never saw it. So that's not bad. I got $2,000 last month off hire car. I just wanna go over a few expenses on top of that that I do have and that are probably common to that you might have. The biggest one is insurance. I spend $185 on insurance. I just have a uh, bare liability, what I need to have by the state of California's minimum. I don't have anything more because I'll never touch my personal insurance or um, any damage for the vehicle. So that was $185. I had repair and maintenance. I had a deep 
um, service on my Honda. I got new front brakes. I got the transmission flushed and oil change. Really did a lot of maintenance work on my um, Honda Civic. It's been rented out for a while, so I need to do that. So I spent 255 on that. I got gas, so I had to fill up the car. Gas, I got a car wash, um, and then I bought GPSs this month. So in total, my expenses outside of my higher car protection plan were $760, which is about on par. Sometimes it's a little more, sometimes it's a little less. Um, I did buy that, that maintenance this month. So after all is said and done, I, in my pocket, after all expenses, everything, I made $1,327.28 for having three vehicles on higher car. I feel like that's super doable. So if I kept that up, I mean, I could be making, you know, well over uh, $15,000 profit every year off three vehicles. I feel like that's really good. That's exactly what my vehicles are worth at this point. If I were to sell all three vehicles, I would be able to basically get 15,000. So I'm getting an annual return rate of 100% on my money. That's insane, that's insane, that's insane. So if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know in the comments. I go do my best to respond to every single one. But if you guys haven't watched this video right here about the protection plan, I'm gonna go ahead and link it and I'll see you guys right over there. Press that subscribe button below. So let's get right into the content. All right, so higher gives a higher car gives. All right, so higher car gives us this.